I'm Excessy Gaming. I'm gonna be doing another list video. Now this is the revamp of my top 20. A lot of Skylanders that I had to cut. What, so what I did, I decided to think, well, well, why not? I'll make a revamp of it because I've. Had so you know, I want uh, to just quickly say is um sure of 100 subscribers which is absolutely mad i'm actually really chuffed about that i'm chuffed about that i hope you guys are too because we're gonna go for 50 subs by the end of the year if we get 50 subs by the end of the year i will do um a challenge or something i don't know but you got but um i'm gonna do a challenge of your choice so I'm gonna get on the Discord chat. I'm gonna get on the. Uh, I'm gonna get on YouTube challenge, and it can't be anything stupid. It's gotta be something I can actually do. Like I'm not gonna scale Mount Everest, am I? So yeah. All right. Now you guys uh, know. I'm just gonna quickly clarify this, guys. This is all my opinion. Now, if there's a Skylander on this list that you despise and that you hate, look. That may be my fault, but I'm sorry. I look, but I think these Skylanders are extremely good. I enjoy playing with them. I enjoy, I enjoyed using them. I've actually probably enjoyed um, the most on this list. Now, uh, for the most part on this list, there was a lot of hard rankings. I had to cut some really good Skylanders out, and I had to cut out a lot of Trap Masters. I had to cut out a lot of Giants. I had to cut out a lot of. Um, I had to cut a lot of core Skylanders and light cores, as well as a, as well as swap force a bunch of others. Seriously, like it's impossible account. But there is a bunch of Skylanders in here. I'm going to sh I'm going to show you guys which are my favourite picks and what are my favourite top picks. So now you guys know the top 20 Skylanders. All right, this is the list. Enough of me rambling. This is the list. All right, guys. Coming in at number 20, we have. Be afraid of the bug. Alright, sorry about all those glitches there. Alright. <coughs> when Tree Rex came in the giant star pack, I was so so hyped. Like literally more hyped than I've ever been. I was so so excited that I actually had a giant on my team. And seriously. When I came up, and when I used him, I non-stop played him until he was level 50, until he was level 15. I, I, I mean, I know I've reset him just so I can try out the other path, but I'd probably say this one's the better one. And also, I love his soul gem, the Woodpecker Pal. That is one of the best soul gems in any of the, in all of the games, because you've got Tree Rex, you have a massive. You've got a colossal tree that murders absolutely anybody in his path, and then you've got a, you've got a laser cannon, and you have a woodpecker which kills people literally almost in one hit. So you're so you decide seriously if you're gonna say Tree Rex is a bad Skylander. I may not disagree with you because of his speed, but I mean. You know, there are some areas of improvement that he needs to work on. His speed, for example, and his luck. I know nobody really cares about luck, but I'd probably say uh, speed. You know, probably. Anyway, that's what your Rex takes the number, the number twenty spot. All right, guys. Up in the next one, you guys have probably seen this Skylander a lot recently. I'm trying to find them. <laughs> So don't, don't worry about it. But guys, on the 19 goes to. I didn't actually notice Flame Slinger was a Skylander until uh, until he came out in Series Two. I noticed him. I noticed him in the story in Series One, and I was quite into, and I was quite excited because I thought he because I thought he'd be a great addition to my team. And boy, was I right. His power is literally off the charts. His ring of fire is amazing. His arrow shots are amazing. Literally, like, his range is awesome. And he can get up close to his enemies. And he can draw rings around them. Which is a lot of, which is a lot of fun. You can blaze them up. You can shoot. You can do a lob shot on them. Which I think is insanely cool. 
you can basically surround yourself in fire so they can't get to you and then you can just do a bunch of lob shots that's just amazing and then you've got a single arrow shot which is absolutely insane i can honestly like this guy is amazing like in all honesty i'm not actually sure i've come across this guy I, i've come across this guy a lot but i don't think i've come across him enough i feel like they should have made a series 3 remake because if they did you could have a different soldier because i mean everything else is brilliant but I think his soldier might need to do a bit of changing up. So, people, like, Toys for Bob, if you're watching this, definitely make another Flame Slinger because I'm very, very much enjoying this. I'm very much enjoying this one. I hope you guys um, enjoy this guy too as well. The Flame Slinger, I'm going to be so happy. Right, I'll be over the moon. I'll buy him the second he comes out. Right, I know that uh, Activision Toys for Rob don't do anything anymore, but if they made another Skylanders game and they made Flameslinger uh, and then re-released Flameslinger, I would buy that guy instantly. I'm actually really surprised that he didn't get made into an Eon Elite, because <laughs> if he did, the whole game would make it. It would make the whole game so much better. But that's what Flameslinger takes number 19. Alright guys, this next one was extremely hard to place. Again, I did tell you there's going to be some hard ones to place. But yeah, coming in at the next spot is... Trigger Snappy. What a Skylander. Give this guy, uh, give this Skylander a gold coin because this guy shreds, and I legitimately mean shreds. Like I could just go walk up to any person, ask them for a battle, and I'll use Trigger Snappy, and then I can absolutely shred them. Uh, honestly, Trigger Snappy is really, really fast. Trigger Snappy's. Tr uh, Trigger Snappy's probably, he's got a more annoying voice than Trigger Happy, but I'd probably say his stats are just a little bit better. I mean, I know I'm saying this um, at the point where he has all his upgrades, but he hasn't really got much too many levels yet. But the infinite ammo on Trigger Snappy, because he shoots a lot faster, and also, he shoots a lot quicker, he shoots a lot quicker on his normal guns as well. And with, it, and with his golden coin power up, that is just insane. I know it's a bit smaller to Trigger Happy, but I think Trigger Snappy really deserves a spot on this list to more than Trigger Happy because when this guy came out, I was so hyped, I was so excited to get sidekicks that can fight, and he was probably the first one I got. So, guys, that is my Trigger Happy. Trigger Snappy takes number 18. Right, guys, number 16 again. No, no, no number 17. All right, again, this was hard to place. You must forgive me if this isn't your favorite. I've got my eye on you. Give the hot dog a bone. Seriously, give the, give whoever this may, whoever came up with the design and the and just anything all in all for the Skylander. Seriously. Whoever came, I want to meet whoever came up with this Skylander because I want to hug them so badly. Eyebrawl is amazing. I could just go on and on forever about how much I like him. But Eyebrawl is amazing because of the design, the punches. Like, his punches are swift, they deal out massive damage. And again, he can just elude him. He can use the eyeballs out, eyeballs out, of, out of the ground. He can shoot eyeballs out of the ground, that's amazing. And he can detach his eye and shoot a laser. A laser. Can I repeat that? A laser. I wish I can repeat it enough at this point. Eyeball is OP. Enough said. Right, guys. Next spot. Next spot actually will go to a pretty solid but fair-minded you know okay it's a solid and fair-minded 
This is. I'm another 17th spot. This goes to Golden Queen. Golden Queen, when she premiered in Trap Team, I was insanely sort of shocked by the boss battle, the trapping of the villain, everything. She is incredible all round. She's just a well rounded sensei with a well rounded set of abilities. She can freeze, uh, she can freeze anyone around her in gold. She can make her own little defense. And also, she can shoot scarabs. A massive golden scarab, which really helps if you're doing, dealing with waves of enemies. Honestly, but my favorite by, uh, by far is the Soul Gem. She moves, uh, she moves a lot slower, but she deals 300 attack damage. 300! And then you can just turn her back by, by pressing circle. That is why she takes number 17 on this list. No, number, number 17, sorry. Um, number 16. Right. Yep, number 16. Oh, no, number 16 on this list. Okay. I've lost count, hang on a minute. 1, 20, 19. Oh, okay, number 16 coming in. <laughs> sorry, I lost count there, guys. Number 16 is... As, as he said before, Dr. Rizim. Crankcase is amazing. And again, when he premiered in Trap Team, I thought a lot of him. I thought he was a very, very good villain. And But when he got in my trap, I didn't think much of him when I used him. But when he came back as a sensei, all that, all that trap stuff went out the window. Literally, I threw it out the window. I legitimately threw out the window when I got Crankcase. Crankcase is insane. Crankcase is amazing. Like he's a well-rounded Skylander. He can throw out little hats to help him, and he can power them up by using his goo guns. And he shoots extremely fast as well. And he's amazing. He's a well-rounded Skylander. He can also, and with his with his rotating tentacles or whatever wooden or wooden crankles or whatever. Crankles, crankles, whatever. Crankles, small, <laughs> whatever. But I actually think that his legs really do help in a situation where there's a lot of enemies because you can just spam circle and then you can just take them out or you could just hold up your goo charges and do this. But that is why Crankcase takes the spot on the list. Alright, guys. Okay, again, you guys are going to question me a lot for this person, but. Please, 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 again, don't bully me. Don't you dare not bully me. Crook and roll. Guys, number 15 has to go to, the, uh, has to go to Snapshot. Snapshot is insane. Snapshot is amazing. Snapshot is sick. I am amazed by the design of the Skylander as well as how powerful his abilities are. Why you... Just by using the Kraken you can take people out. Just by using this. Just by doing that. That is incredible. You can just spin round. 360 no scope them. <laughs> <coughs> no, but it's very... But Snapchat is an all-round powerful Skylander. The way he holds it... Seriously, he can, this guy can spam fire. I mean, you guys might not think he's a good Skylander, in your opinion, but I think he's an extremely good Skylander. Maybe even be better than Crankcase by far. Because I haven't actually been in a game where I have never been, never been anywhere where people have said Snapshot is bad. Snapshot is extremely good. And I'd probably say if he but uh, no, but if it wasn't for his next spot. If it wasn't for this next entry, he would have this spot, definitely. But yeah, that's why Snapshot takes number 15. Number 14! Again, this was hard to place with Snapshot and stuff. Rock and roll. <coughs> <coughs> bash, bash, Thunder Guard Flash, or whatever. Bash is incredible. 
I, I first got Bash when he, premiered, when he premiered in Season 1. In Series 1, I was hyped about him. He was amazing, he was powerful. But when they brought him back in Series 2, they made him so much better. Like, 500 million times better. Because of how powerful his, of how powerful his Spike Ball is, or whatever. How powerful his, not his totem is, and how fast his roll is. How powerful all of his abilities are. Like they made him like fight like just he can take them out like 500 times more better times better now like his horn guard and the rolling thunder it's incredible just amazing like i could just like i could literally kiss the skylander he's amazing like i could genuinely attack like, I can attack the guy who made this with hugs because Bash is amazing. Bash is amazing. Bash is legendary. Bash is awesome. But that's what he takes. Number. Fair number. Um. 15. 15, sorry. Um. That's why he takes number 14 on this list. Number 13. You guys are going to argue a lot from this. All you gotta do with Wallop is just hold down the square button. Not really much else to it. I mean, you can lob your—I mean, you can lob your hammer and then hold B. Just really? Like, I don't really see the point. I really don't. Like, I mean, his attack—I mean, his attacks. Yes, they're amazing, and some of his hammers. Like, he's amazing. Yes. I just don't think he deserves the really high spot on this list. Number 13 on the list. Don't bully me for this. Right? If you guys do, I'm calling the Facebook police or whatever. Bringing the <coughs> <coughs> I'm unsubscribing. Yes, I don't care. Dark Wildfire is amazing. They nailed the design with Wildfire and they actually nailed how powerful he is. Honestly, with his bro, with his heat breath, with his, uh, with his uh, fire hand, with his shield, he is amazing. And so are his power ups, like just so are his upgrades. Like he's an all-round, well-rounded Skylander, and I think he might just be a little bit better than Wallop. The reason I say this is because Wallop has doesn't have the characteristics of Dark Wildfire. I know I said all this in my Trap Masters, but I didn't have in my Trap Masters video, but I didn't actually think it all through. I thought, I thought most of it through. But the thing is, with Dark Wildfire and with Wildfire and Wallop, I think Wildfire might have the upper hand here because of how powerful his actual attacks are. Like his jump attack, yes, amazing. I'm awesome. Yes, you are. Like. Honestly, heat wave combos, fire spin combos, like his searing slam attack, and the lion form. Lion form. Just lion. It's amazing. Like, honestly, Dark Wildfire is insanely powerful. If I get, I give mad props to whoever made him, and the design, amazing. I give mad props to whoever made him. He's dope. Coming in at number 12, you guys are going to hate me so much for putting this guy for, for putting this guy at this spot on the list, because where is he actually, I lost him, have I lost him, no I haven't, he's, by, he's actually right by, right by my windowsill, <laughs> Down I'm unsubscribing and turning off notif- Okay, shut up. Seriously, you're starting to piss me off. Okay, Jawbreaker. I know I said what I said about Wildfire. I probably should have put Jawbreaker literally uh, in Wildfire's spot because of how much I said about him. I mean, I know I said with Wallop, all you gotta do is smash. And, but, honestly, with Jawbreaker, you don't just have to punch. You can do a lot more, and also, the other thing is, his hypercharged haymaker ability helps out in one of the stickiest situations. 
you can just punch and be done with it. Spinning, spinning this arcade. Woo, 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 I'm gonna punch this brain. No, but Jawbreaker is amazing because of how much he uses his abilities. With this Robo Rage mode here, it helps a ton because he goes faster and also his charter, his charter is, um, his fists are improved as well as normal damage output. Honestly. But seriously, I've just, I have a lot to say about the Skylander, but that's for another video. Alright. Number 11 on this list. You guys are going to hate me a lot more than you did before. Well, maybe not. A shot in the dark. Don't you dare press that dislike and unsubscribe button. Right, Starcast is amazing. Enough said. If you're going to give, if you're going to give an award for best design, best had just best, best design, best upgrades, Shadow give it to Starcast and Imaginators. Because when it comes to Imaginators, Starcast knows what he's doing. That's the thing. And when he goes, he can, when he goes into his star form, he becomes a freaking spaceship. A space ship. Can you get more cool than that? If you can, give me, give me a fiver. I'm legit serious, give me a fiver. I've got fivers in my pocket right now. Anyway, that's why Starcast takes number, number, um, hang on a minute, one sec. As a star class takes number uh, number ten, number nine. Sorry, I, I got it wrong again. Right, if you guys press the sun subscribe button now, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna find you and cut you. Just joking. <coughs> I've got. <coughs> Yes, nobody cares. Crypt King's amazing in my opinion. Enough said. Crypt King's powerful, Crypt King's fast, and also, with his sword, it really helps. I know he's a bit like Eyebrow. When he had when it comes to that, he's a little bit like Eyebrow because of his you know. Uh, he's a little bit like Eyebrow. But, like, in a better way, kind of. Because he can just press B, but then he has to leave his body behind to use his sword. The only good thing is, it actually slows people down. It slows people down. That's actually quite a good thing. But that's what cooking takes a spot on the list. Next spot on the list would be King. Yeah, he just dropped off the portal. Stay frosty. King Pen. Well rounded Skylander. Well rounded set of abilities. You did well on this one, Activision, not gonna lie. I mean, I could go on for days why King nice Pen is it. number why King Pen is number is Number eight is number eight. Honestly, King Ken is amazing, especially in Emperor Penguin mode. Deal some more damage, smack some more enemies. That's what I always say. King Ken is insane. King Ken's incredible. King Ken is a freaking penguin mighty knee waddling. All right, this is number number number. This is number. Number seven. Number seven on the list, we got Crash Bandicam. Alright, guys, I'm gonna be sharp with you here. Crash Bandicam is one of the first games I actually ever played as a kid. And I enjoyed it so much, I brought every single other one. I've got them all downstairs now, but that's for another video. But I can honestly look at myself and think. I can honestly play with Crash Bandicoot, 
for a whole day and say that I and not say that I've not done well. I can like just give me five. Yeah. Just look at this attack stat. His attack stat is a hundred and five. One hundred and five, and he has lives to boot. Lives, lives. He's basically just he's basically night shift, but like five hundred million times better. Seriously, this guy can take out like hordes of enemies just with his TNT. Like he can take out hordes of enemies just with a slide. He can take out just a few enemies with a slide, and then he can just spin them all up. Seriously, I've actually not been in a per and I've never met a person that says Crash Bandicoot is bad. If I ha if I do, I will find them and take their cookies. Anyway, that's why Crash Bandicoot deserves number six. Guys, number five is go. Number five was a hard spot to place, so I'm just gonna say, don't hate it. You hate, I will banish you from the channel. If you click the unsubscribe button now, I will banish you. I will banish you from a, the Alex HD Gaming channel. But I'm sorry. But something about this Skylander just makes me so happy. Like I've played, I played with this for, with this guy from about well. I got this guy when I was like, when I was pretty little, aka when I was when I was brainless. And when I played with this guy, I just cried. I was so happy. Seriously, I've got all the upgrades for this guy. I've got all the sh I've I've got every everything for this guy. Like seriously, I know his best upgrade path. I know his burst upgrade path. But seriously, give me five minutes of this guy and you will see me take out the entire rat kingdom and the entire of all uh, the entirety of mushroom river and actually just the whole freaking game all right guys all right let's try it for you okay my favorite okay one of my favorite skylanders <coughs> <coughs> number three number three number mofo ing three Number three, if you know me, you know I love throwbacks to older games. If you know me, you know I love. Oh, fired up. Amazing, 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 amazing. The Skylander has it all. Speed, attack, speed, attack, flight. He can take anything out. Give him 500,000 vultures. He will demolish all of them with one of head slam. Seriously. Give me 10, 10 days with this guy. I'll complete the whole of the game and I'll also do 100% of the game. If I use this guy throughout all of my playthrough, for the rest of my playthrough, I will do everything. Seriously. Spyro takes the number 3 spot on this list because of how good he is. Now, next thing, number two. The speed of light. Aurora, probably one of my favorite senseis, and probably one of my least favorite as well. She was my least favorite until I used her, and my favorite when I and my favorite when I used her. <laughs> Seriously, when I hit her, I used to hate this Skylander so much, and I thought when I brought her. She was, a freak. she was a freaking mistake. Master Eon has trained me well. And now I see all this. Seriously. Seriously, not just just wow, just incredible. Aurora is sp uh, Aurora is fast. Aurora's attack. Uh, Aurora's attack stat is amazing. You look at her attack stat, and it's 52, 62 on level fifteen. She hasn't even reached max level yet and she's already passed and she's already half of over half of Crash Bandicoot's attack stat. Wow. Wow. Alright guys, number one. You guys have been waiting for this. Behold my catchphrase of doom <sighs> Too much to say about this guy. Impressive, Too much. 
because there's just too much to say. There's actually just too much to say about this guy. He's the classic. He's the man. He needed a chair in the first game. Now, Chaos. K-A-O-S. The man, the myth, the dis the destroyer of the core of light, which I still hate him for to, to this day. Seriously. This guy is legendary. He's been here since day one, and I've enjoyed playing him. I've enjoyed when I played him during Trap Team. I was hyped up because I actually got a chance to play as Chaos. And when I played him, I didn't stop. I just never switched. I just never switched to a Skylander ever again. I was just so so hyped up that Chaos was even here. And when he came back in Imaginators, that made him ten times better than he already was. I was so happy. I just couldn't contain my excitement. I I was probably more happy than Borderlands than when, than when Borderlands 3 got released. And that's saying something. This man is the destroyer of the core of light. This dwarf is a knob, but he's well good in a Skyliner. He's made this, like when I thought uh, when I used him, his base Bow attack stat. Now his attack stat, level 20, 87. He hasn't even got his last upgrade yet. He's pissed off at literally everything, but he's amazing. Just incredible in every way. His Doom Landers are powerful. His, his Doom Landers are powerful. His melee attacks powerful. His long range attacks powerful. He can shoot Doom Shots. He can shoot hands. He can shoot knives, axes, stuff. Uh, even, like Doom Landers again. <laughs> yeah, he can shoot. He can even shoot like the Zooka stuff. Again, he's got the he's got the ninja, and he also has the nin he's got the ninja stuff. He's got that. He's got quick shot weapon. He's got everything. This guy's the complete package, which is why he's my number one pick. I know I haven't used him much in my playthrough. I don't actually think I used him at all. But when I played him, I remember when, until I played him on this, I actually forgot how good he was. Seriously, I did. But guys, that is going to end it on today's live stream. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will hope you are now. I'm trying to upload daily content. And again, I just want to give a quick shout out to two people. I want to give a shout out to, uh, to Lima216. And also, I want to give a shout out to Pump Free Plays. And actually, I'm going to give one more shout out to Crash the Skylands. These guys have helped me a lot. Like... Um, Pump Free Place has actually helped me out to, to I actually helped her, um, like, inspire to start a YouTube channel, I know she probably, <laughs> probably will say otherwise, and again, for my friend, for my friend Lima216, so please check out their channels, I'm not gonna leave them in the description below, because I really can't be bothered, <laughs> again, you guys know me, but I really, uh, think you guys should check them out, because they're good YouTubers, they're trying to do some good, th they're trying to do good things, they upload Roblox, they upload, um, who start the videos out, they sometimes upload vlogs, uh, but I actually might be doing a vlog soon, guys, so, uh, look forward to that, going outside, not clickbait, uh, <laughs> actually, that's a pretty good title, anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next video, bye-bye.